Hey, I'm Joel. I'm using Roland's Xenology Pro software synthesizer. Uh, we're just going to make a big pad sound, like an orchestral style pad from scratch to see where it goes. I'm going to kind of talk through as I'm doing it. So I've got this chord progression here in C minor. Pretty long and elongated. So I'm going to try and make like a big evolving pad sound. So first thing, I'm going to just use partial one here. And I'm going to pick like a string sound maybe. Going to ensemble. Let's have a listen. Cool, I like that one there. So now I'm going to make it stereo. So because there's a left and a right already recorded, when I hit stereo, it will just automatically find it for me. See if I hit mono, it goes back there. Stereo. Instantly widens it up. Nice. And I'm going to find my second sound here in partial two. So turn on partial two. I'm going to find a nice sound to sort of add to that. Um, I might pick like a synth sound, a layer. Cool. So, by itself. And then the first one by itself. Now together. Well, I might make that one stereo, see? Yeah, I like that. So now we'll make it evolve. Uh, I'm going to make the strings come in a little bit slower. So I'm going to go the amp, amp, amp envelope here and bring the attack up. And I'm going to make the second partial sound... Um, I'll, I'll back up a bit. When you press partial one here, you can see you've got all the effects here and it's showing, not the effects, the different sections of that partial all showing down here. Same with partial two. But if I just hit, uh, if I just hit amp EQ here or filter, it will show all four partials down here. So that's kind of cool. So you can see what they're all doing at the same time. So I'm going to keep the attack short on the um, second partial and bring the decay and the sustain down. So when this one fades out, this one fades in. A little bit more subtle than that. going to apply some vibrato, I think, on the strings here. Let's bring in the LFO1 and see how that sounds. I'm going to mute second partial. Yep, now I'm going to go to LFO and modify that. So LFO1 here and change it, make it a bit faster. Sweet. Now I'm going to use the pitch envelope on the second partial and use, not the envelope, but I'm going to control the pitch with LFO1 and give it like sort of a vibrato y sound. It's not very musical, but just so we can hear what's happening, go to LFO, might change the rate. I'm going to bring in like a fade so it doesn't start off fully LFO, it will sort of like creep in as you can see here. A 
Yeah, we're going to change the LFO uh, pitch LFO so it's not as intense. Cool, so listening to them together. going to change the attack on the second partial so it's not so full on. Just really subtle, you can hear that. Nice, we're going to add a third partial in just to see how we go. Get a nice, uh, maybe like some kind of choir. Oh, that's not great. For what I need anyway, I'm sure it has a place. Yeah, that synth vox there sounds cool. I'm definitely going to pitch it up an octave though. And again, play around with the amp envelope. Awesome. So we'll listen to them all together. Gonna change his chord progression a bit. All right, let's bring the release on these ones here so they kind of overlap with the chord that follows them. Awesome. So let's go on to this last section here where we've got the lead line happening. So if we open up the clip, the first, so we see you've got this lead line that comes in over the top, sort of harmony. So I want it to be, I want to have it so when that lead sound is playing, there's a new sound on the top, but it only plays on that top note there. So maybe above, above C4 in this case, anything above C4 will play that sound. So let's just find a sound for it. So we'll just start it playing from this this section now. Okay, so let's just add partial four. We'll just find like a nice lead sound for the top. Let's just cut, maybe let's go with a saw wave. Bring it up, bring it up an octave. Cool. Let's get some pitch vibrato going on. So it's probably pretty loud. Uh, I'll go back to the LFO, fade in. So 
just going to bring the volume of that one down a smidge. Yeah, cool. All right. So we're all together. Cool. Now we're going to go into this range control section over here. You can see we've got the piano roll here. And we can control at what velocity and what pitch certain sounds uh, played on that keyboard so I'm going to have the range on partial 4 uh, starting at we remember it was C4 so we can see here it says C4 so the, lower, the lowest key it will play at is C4 so now when we listen So let's listen to the, let's listen from the start again. Okay, I didn't do that right. What did I? What have I done? Okay, so we bring it up to C five. There's nothing playing. Nice. So now when we bring in all the other partials. We can hear that note on top. Back at the start is every all of the three first three partials but not the fourth. And then when we get up to here. Nice. Let's just go back into the amp section. I want the strings to come in and then fade out a bit. So we're going to change this ADSR here. So the strings are going to come in and when they get to full volume at this point, they're going to come back down again. I'm only really going to hear it in this section, I think. Now let's go here. Yeah, beautiful. I mean, the attack on that lead bit. That sounds sweet. So I'm going to add a uh, overdrive on there, as always. Just subtle, not too much. Nice. Before I do that, actually, I'll put a, probably a chorus on here. So MFX there. Let's add a chorus. I do like my chorus. Just gives it width. How could I forget about analog feel? Let's bring some analog feel in here. Turn off the chorus.
Beautiful. Now we'll add on that re- overdrive. Sounding really nice. Okay, let's add, let's add an echo on there. It's like a delay and a reverb. Uh, we'll just try it out. Let's just see what we get. Time travel echo. It does sound like I'm traveling through time. Awesome. And we can bring in the glue compressor if we want. Slow attack. Pretty fast release. So, we, uh, you know, takes us a second two for the glue compressor to kick in. I like it. So that's how you make a big orchestral string style pad in Roland's Xenology Pro software synthesizer. Thanks for watching.